friends, today we are going to be creating this winter drawing of a cardinal on a branch and we are going to be focusing on warm and cool colors and the contrast between warm and cool colors. So we have our cardinal that is very much warm colors and our background that is cool colors. We also have some neutral colors in our branch. So as a reminder, the cool colors are green, blue, and purple, and they look cool. And our warm colors are yellow, orange, and red, and they look warm. And when you use them together in an artwork, they create contrast, which means they stand out really well against each other and help create a focal point in a work. So we have our red bird really standing out from that blue background creating a strong focal point here. So we're going to do this step by step. I'm going to use a marker so if Miss Hoffman messes up, she messes up guys. But I want you to get a white piece of paper. If you don't have a white piece of paper, just any paper you have around the house, a uh, lime piece of paper will be fine, and a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so you can see my lines a little bit better, but we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to start with the bird's beak, with the cardinal's beak. So I'm going to do a sideways letter V right here, okay? Then I'm going to bring it back in with a smaller V on this side, and then draw a line down the middle. And that's our beak to our cardinal. Next, we're going to bring the line up. And a cardinal has a lot of feathers on the top plume of their head up here, so it kind of gives a zigzaggy appearance. So we're gonna then kind of come down at a zigzag just a little, not too much, but just like a little bit of a zigzag, come down. Okay. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here underneath uh, the beak and go in a little bit like the neck and then back out for the chest of the bird and down for the belly of the bird. We're gonna bring this line down a little bit more and then but we're gonna stop because we're gonna go ahead and do the wing and we don't wanna uh, if you had a pencil you could erase but I don't want to draw over where I'm gonna put the wing here so I'm gonna draw like a large Rain, sideways rainbow arch shape there to start off the wing, so a large arch line, kind of like a rainbow has fallen over on its side there. And I'm gonna bring it down a little longer, down a little longer, okay? And then I'm gonna loop in, loop in, loop in, loop in like that. Then we're gonna add some more details on the wings by doing another long arched like that. And a couple of lines at the top. Just give some texture to that wing there. Okay. Next, we're going to bring this in right here. And right here, we're going to extend Long, skinny one going this way. Long, skinny arch line here. Long, skinny arch line here. And continue to do that for the cardinal's tail. And then you can go in and add some texture to the tail by doing some more loops inside the tail as well, like we did here. Now, a cardinal has a large, black feathered section around their eye. So we're going to draw that. You don't have to color that in yet since you're still just drawing with your pencil. But I will kind of shade that in so you remember. So we'll do a circle inside that for the bird's eye. Another circle inside that. And then I'm gonna shade that in just so you will remember that this section will not be red this section will be black. All right, next, what we're gonna do, make sure that you can see in the camera here, we're gonna draw little tufts of feathers at the tops of the bird's legs right there, and then two skinny lines down, two skinny lines down, 
arch line back up, arch line back up, arch line back up, do that right there. We're gonna have the bird look like it's holding on to a branch. So after you have those, you're just going to draw a tree branch underneath their feet. If you want, you can add some little twigs coming off the branch here and there, wherever you want the twigs to be. Or you can just do a straight line across. That is up to you. All right. Now, what we're gonna do now is we are going to add in all these branches in the background just to add some extra visual interest. So anywhere you want it to be, there's no wrong way. I'm gonna draw a branch going across here. Don't draw it through my bird's head though. So when I get to the bird, I'll need to stop. And then continue. I might have one coming down like this. And I think I'm gonna put a couple more. I'm gonna put one in here. Stop when I get to the bird. And anywhere I wanna put them. I think I put a few more in my original, but you get the idea. You place those branches anywhere you want to just add some visual interest there. Then you can add some little holly berries here and there if you want. Just draw circle, circle, circle. Some little lines for the leaves. And we're gonna make it look like it's snowing outside. So start putting some circles in the sky. When you color your sky blue to have that contrast between the red bird and the blue sky, you'll leave these circles white to look like snow. Now, if this bird has been sitting outside in the snow, he probably has some snow gathered up on his head. So we're gonna draw a little tuft of snow and when you color in your bird, you would leave that white to look like snow resting on top of his head. And I'm gonna put a little bit more on his wing, maybe some right here on his back, maybe some on his tail, just look like little tufts of snow. I'm gonna put some resting on the tree branch that is flat here because it looks like it's probably gonna have some snow that has piled up on it. And then here and there on the other tree branches, I'm gonna add some snow that looks like it's piled up. Just resting on the tree branches, anywhere where you think it would be resting. I'm gonna show you the finished one. Now, when you color this in, cardinals are red, so you're gonna color your cardinal red with either a marker or a crayon. You're going to color your cardinal's beak either black or orange. Now, some cardinal's back, beaks are black, so you can do that, or you can do orange. This section around his eye is gonna be black. I would leave any little tuft of snow that you put on any of the branches or on your cardinal, leave them white and leave your snowflakes white, but then color in all the background blue. That way it will have a strong contrast between the blue background and the red bird in the foreground because when you have warm colors against cool colors, it creates a strong contrast, makes it stand out even more. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye guys.